guys, my name is Lauren and this is my brand new channel, Dreams Books Courage. And today we will be talking about Book Tubathon, but more specifically my to be read list for Book Tubathon. And with that there are seven challenges along with video challenges as well each day. And so I'm gonna try to complete all of those. So let's go ahead and get started on the books I will be planning to read this week. And so to start with the challenges, the first one is reading a book with pictures in it. This kind of stretches that a little bit. What I'm planning on reading for that is Bossy Pants by Tina Fey, which I'm so excited to read. And yes, it is just an audiobook, but there is a PDF on it of the photos that would be on it if I were reading the book itself. So technically I am reading the book and seeing the pictures, but it'll just be at different times. The second challenge is to start and finish a series. So I'm going to be reading the Bloodlines series by Rochelle Mead. And this is obviously the first book. And then there's The Golden Lily, The Indigo Spell. And lastly, there is The Fury Heart. And so I'm really excited to read the series. Obviously this series isn't complete yet, but I will. I think this should count for reading a series because of how big this series already is. And I don't know if I'll be able to read all of it, so I'll leave it for the end of the week. And hopefully I can manage to get through all of these books. I love Rochelle Mead's books, especially Vampire Academy, so hopefully I can speed through these. The next challenge is to read a book with red on the cover. And so for that I have The English Girl by Daniel Silva. And also this completes reading a book from a genre that you haven't really read this year. And I have read no mystery books, especially no adult mystery books. So this completely fits that um, for both of those categories. So it's kind of two birds with one stone for this book. The next challenge was to read a book that someone else picks out for you. And that book was The Geography of You and Me by Jennifer E. Smith. I love this cover for one thing. It has New York behind it and that just makes me definitely happy. I know it's about a guy and girl who meet in New York but then they go to different locations and it's just kind of about their love story that's kind of I guess long distance. And the next challenge is to read a book that has a movie adaptation and to also watch the movie adaptation. So for that I picked Confessions of a Shopaholic by Sophie Kinsella. I'm so excited to read this book. I, I adore the movie of this. It's one of my favorite movies of all time. And so I'm definitely looking forward to reading this because I know in the movie it takes place in New York, in the book it's in England, so I'm excited to see the differences and see if I love this book as much as I love the movie. The final challenge is to read at least seven books or 300 pages a day. So either way I'm hoping to get through seven books and right here in this stack I have eight books. So if I can get through all eight books, I'll complete that challenge and hopefully all the challenges. I'm super excited to read all these books, but even if I don't get through all of the challenges, I'm still happy even if I just finish one book. And so I will be updating you every day on how I'm doing and also with the video challenges as well. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.